welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing a recipe for trini chicken pillow if you're not familiar with pillow it is like guyanese cook up rice it's a one pot dish where you add all your vegetables rice meats and everything into one pot and it's absolutely delicious so to get started here i have my chicken already well seasoned and i'll be using some parboiled brown rice i have onions bell peppers coconut milk uh chicken broth green onions parsley thyme and we can make trini food without shadow benny so i have some shadow benny there and i'll be using some pigeon peas pumpkin carrots garlic i have habanero peppers i have some brown sugar and for my seasonings i'll be using some mushroom seasoning complete seasoning black pepper and seasoned salt so here's how I season my chicken. First, I washed in vinegar and lemon juice, and I use Guyanese casrip for color. I also have my own fresh green seasoning here. I will not be using garlic powder and onion powder because I have fresh garlic and onion blended here in my green seasoning. I also will be using some seasoned salt, black pepper, complete seasoning, and chicken bouillon. What I did was added all of the ingredients to the chicken, mix really well, and set aside to marinate for a few hours. Here in a preheated pot, I did add about two tablespoons of oil and now I will add the brown sugar. What we'll be doing is caramelizing the sugar so we can add some color and sweetness to the dish. This is very technical. You wanna keep your heat on medium to low while doing this. And you know, you would go through the different stages. The first stage is when the sugar starts to melt and it will become nice and golden brown but that's not the color we need we need it to be a nice dark brown so we'll keep going and once the sugar gets to a nice vibrant brown color we will begin to add our chicken here we will give it a good mix and a good stir then we'll sit the lid on and let the chicken release all of its juices After about 15 minutes, as you can see, the chicken has released a lot of juices. What we'll do here is we will leave it uncovered and allow those juices to evaporate. So as you can see, most of the liquid has evaporated and what we'll do next is add our onions, garlic, peppers, we'll add our shadow benny here and some green onions. We will give it a good stir and allow it to go for about 5 minutes. We just want the vegetables to break down and release all of its flavors. So at this point, we'll now add our pumpkin, carrot, rice, and pigeon peas. We will also add the seasonings here to add flavor and taste to the dish. We will give it a good mix and we let it go for five minutes just so the rice can absorb all those flavors and aromatics. If you're new here, I want to wish you a warm welcome. My name is Candy and I'm Guyanese, 
but I cook all types of different foods on this channel. I like to dabble in different cultures. I'm very adventurous when it comes to, you know, trying new things. So I know there must be something here that you will enjoy. So if you have not yet subscribed, I want you to consider doing so and just join the family. I know you will enjoy it here. Now let's get back to the video. And please be reminded guys that you can use whatever seasonings you like in this dish. It doesn't necessarily have to be the ones I'm using. Just go with whatever you prefer, whatever you have in your pantry, just use that and season to your own taste. Yes, I have measurements in the description box, but it's not set in stone. You know, everyone likes things different and if you taste your food and it doesn't taste the way you like it, then go ahead and add whatever you know, suits your liking. Next, we'll add our coconut milk, chicken broth. Now you can use water if you like in place of chicken broth, but I like to use either chicken broth or peas broth into my rice when I'm cooking. I, I keep forgetting that it's not cooked up rice, but I'm cooking it the way I would cook a Guyanese cook up rice that's how i'm cooking it so for me i don't like to add water i like to add either pure coconut milk or some kind of broth whether it's peas broth if i boil the peas from scratch or i would use chicken broth beef broth whatever so i'm adding chicken broth but if you want you can use water then we'll add some thyme habanero peppers we will cover this and we will let it simmer on medium to low heat until our rice is nice and tender. So 15 minutes in, we are giving this a little check because you wanna check it periodically to make sure nothing is sticking or burning at the bottom. And we'll give it a stir. We will cover and allow it to continue cooking. Now, if you notice your liquid has evaporated and your rice is still hard, you can add some more liquid to help with the cooking process. So our chicken pilau is finally done. Now the doneness depends on how you like your chicken pilau. If you like it wet or dry. If you like it dry, you can continue cooking it some more until you know more liquid evaporates. But I like mine nice and wet. So I will now garnish with some fresh parsley and green onions. And that's it. That's how simple it is to make this. It's a one pot dish and it's absolutely delicious. Now I will plate this up and I will show you guys the finished product. So I did plate my chicken pilau up with some fried rye plantains and some coleslaw. Super simple. It was so delicious. My entire family enjoyed it. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!